How to Promote a Dating App Hey there! Today we will show you how to promote a dating app using the example of Coffee Meets Bagel. We will cover all the basic steps, from the analysis of the current situation to text and graphic optimization and evaluation of the results. Dating is a highly competitive, but extremely promising and profitable niche. The total number of users grows every year. In 2020, it was 250 million. In 2021, 270 million. The top three most popular apps on the global mobile market are Tinder, Badu, and Bumble. In the US, the top leaders are Tinder, Bumble, and Hinge. How do other dating apps compete with them? One solution is to target a narrower audience and offer new mechanics. For example, Coffee Meets Bagel matches people using their own algorithms instead of swiping, offering slow and thoughtful dating. And naturally, promotion is very important. More than 60% of users search for apps through an app store search. That's why it's important to optimize your app home page to rank higher in the search results. The user won't scroll to the bottom. Your ASO, app store optimization, should be of high quality. Let's discuss it in more detail. Step 1. Add your app. We choose a priority locale, an app store, and add an app. The platform immediately generates a keyword welcome pack with 50 keywords. It makes further work easier. Step 2. Analysis of ASO quality and search visibility. First, we should analyze the strengths and weaknesses of ASO. This is where ASO index can help. It's a scale from 1 to 10. We can see that the ASO index of this app is 7.8. It's a good result, and it's almost equal to the benchmark score for the category. But there is still room for growth. Let's take a closer look. In the ASO Index Overview tab, we can see the main factors that affect the quality of ASO. What can be improved? Clearly, we need to improve the text metadata, especially the subtitle. It's also worth selecting more popular keywords. It will help boost visibility for the most relevant keywords, Visibility Index. Search Visibility Index is an index that shows an app visibility for search traffic. It focuses specifically on the app visibility for key queries, and it's measured as a percentage. This app has a rather high visibility rate of 66%, but it's below the category average. It can be improved, for example, by expanding the semantic core and optimizing ranking for keywords. Does it sound tricky? It's actually easy. Now we'll show you how to collect and analyze semantics. Step 3 build a semantic core. So, we've already added the welcome pack, the keyword starter pack. Now we need to expand it using the keywords explorer tool. In the left block, you will see all the keywords for which you are indexed. There are a lot of branded keywords here. Hinge, Bumble, Match, Plenty of Fish. When you click on these keywords in the right block, you will see suggestions, app store suggested terms that users see when entering a certain search query. At this step, add all the keywords that seem relevant to you you can prioritize key queries for different iterations later. In this section, you can also enter your keywords and see suggestions for them. It's important to know that the duplicate query doesn't affect the indexing. You won't rank three times better if you add the same keyword three times. Quite the opposite. You will take up space and lose the opportunity to rank for other keywords. Let's see suggestions for the keyword dating app. It's duplicated in both the title and the short description. On the one hand, dating app is not the most popular key query and its search volume frequency is 51. But on the app store, words from different elements are mixed together to form different keyword combinations. Words in singular and plural forms are also indexed a priori. That means, when indexed by the keyword dating app, you are also indexed by the relevant keywords, dating, and dating apps. Some experts also recommend not using the word app believing that algorithms index by it automatically. A potential life hack is to select a long tail keyword that will make up more keyword combinations. For example, dating apps for adults. The query itself is quite frequent and it produces many relevant combinations. If it fits your app representation, it's definitely worth adding. Also a good option is to check the search results for the most relevant keywords for you. What do competitors write in their metadata? What keywords do they use? so you can pick up key queries that you have not yet used, examine their metrics, and see the suggestions on them too. For example, date, meet singles, singles, new people, relationship, chat with strangers, love, hook up, go live, hang out, find match, meet up, connect network, voice chat. 
Also with live search, you can find out who is ahead of you, whether there are any ads, featured apps, or articles in the search results, and discover your unexpected competitors. Another tip is the intersection of locales. In the US, there are definitely two indexed locales, English, US, and Spanish, Mexico. So it's better to fill in two localizations. This way, you will use more keywords and reach a larger audience. Keep that in mind. We will continue to work with one language for now, so as not to confuse you. Step four, prioritize the keywords. In the ideas section, the keywords are segmented according to different metrics, search volume, keyword length, ranking. It's more than 10 lists. You can add keywords from here too. For example, you can scrutinize a list with long tail keywords or a list with the high frequency keywords. It's important that these lists can be viewed not only for your app, but also for any added competitor, which can be very useful for expanding semantics. Now you need to prioritize the keywords you added. You can do this with tracking keywords, focusing on the main metrics, search volume, popularity, number of impressions, branding, difficulty, and others. If you are new to the App Store or you have a small total number of installs, it's better to focus on low-frequency key queries. In another situation, mid- and high-frequency keywords will do you better. Analyze all metrics and decide what keywords to analyze first. You can group key queries for the following iterations. For example, at first you can use the keywords that are easier to rank for. Later, when the app begins to stand out, you can try more competitive keywords. These are the keywords we picked up. We'll try to work with them further. For each query, you can quickly explore the keyword overview, the metrics, and the dynamics of ranking. For some keywords, positions are not very high. Our goal is to rank higher. For some relevant queries, the app is not indexed at all. Step 5. Edit the text metadata. We will now go over the collected metadata for the new update. Let's try on different options. Keywords in use will be highlighted in blue. At the top, you will see the total number of involved keywords and their search volume. Try to use the max number of characters. The Virtual Assistant API will give you more directions. Tips may relate to the number of characters, adding more keywords, ranking, spam, or popularity of queries. For example, title has the biggest impact on indexing. There we will add the keywords that we want to rank for the most. In our case, it's chat, date. By the way, such a long name of the app, Coffee Meets Bagel, is rather an exception. There are no keywords in this name, which means we lose a lot of space and opportunities. It's better to come up with more concise names. Pay attention to the search results for the keywords you are interested in. Let's take the keyword love. The keyword is quite popular, but the search results are very diverse. There are not only dating apps, but games, apps for couples to improve relationships, and much more. That's why it's not our top priority. We won't add it to the title or the subtitle. We add the keyword dating app for adults to the subtitle. We can omit the preposition, saving space, and adding another keyword, singles. We have dating app, adults, singles. This way we can get more different keyword combinations and get indexed by them, too. Another good option is dating app, match adults. Dating apps for adults and match are popular keywords that we need. But remember, ASO is a non-stop process. You could try other combinations in the future iterations. Now, let's fill in the field with the keywords. By the way, you can also add branded keywords. In most cases, you will not have any restrictions or warnings. Still, there is a small chance that an app store won't like it. If the app store doesn't permit an update because of these keywords, you can remove them. If the brand is not super popular, then there will definitely be no warnings. We recommend looking for niche competitors of your level. So, we added most of the keywords we picked up for the first iteration. All we have to do now is to update the app home page and wait for the results. Step 6. Evaluate the results of the update. Imagine that some time has passed and we can evaluate the results. For this, we go to the Keywords Tracking section. We select the keywords that we grouped for the first iteration and study how the app positions have changed for them. After studying the search results, you can easily assess which of your competitors you have managed to outrun and which you haven't. Click on Rank, select the specific time period, and examine the dynamics of the position changes in detail, for example, by day. Even more detailed analytics are available in the Ranking and Distribution section. If your keyword's movement index is growing, it means that you are effectively ranking for your keywords. 
If there is no progress, then analyze the errors, study the changes in your positions for each keyword, analyze your competitors, and run new iterations. If you want to explore your ranking in several countries at once, go to the performance section. It may be especially relevant since we remember that there are two locales in the US, English, US, and Spanish, Mexico. We can view the dynamics by country in a list, enabling a filter by a specific region. For your convenience, use the calendar, select the needed time period. By scrolling to the right, you can quickly assess the results. And finally, indexes. Search visibility index, which we have already shown, reflects the dynamics of ranking for key queries. If the index increases, you're doing everything right. Step 7. Work on the rating and reviews. The app's rating also affects the ASO. A high rating helps to be displayed higher in the search results. Plus, it affects the conversion from view to install. Two-thirds of users check the average app's rating before installing it. An app with a 3 rating loses half of its potential installs, and an app that has a 1 or 2 rating loses almost all potential installs. That's why it's important to keep the app's rating high. First, you need to study the current situation in rating analysis. This app has a 4.5 rating. It's not a bad result. But we can see that one of the previous versions of the app was much more successful. It had 100% positive reviews. Version 7.30 received 40% negative reviews. First of all, it's necessary to explore what users have mainly complained about. Let's filter reviews by version and rating using the reviews analysis tool. We can see that many users complained about the lack of matches, and these comments remained unanswered. Certainly, it's very important to deal with negative reviews and respond to all feedback. You can help the user, and then he can change his rating. It's better not to use auto-replies. We see that the support of this app responds to users on its own. It's obvious if you filter reviews by status, selecting Answered Reviews. It is believed that it takes about 5-10 positive reviews to undo the damage of a single negative review. And here the question is, how do we increase the flow of good reviews? Most users are too lazy to leave positive feedback. You should remind them of that. In this case, different triggers to affect users are significant. For example, the proper time to rate your app. Some of the negative feedback may be due to inappropriate timing. If you ask to rate your app right after onboarding, it triggers a negative reaction. You have to pick the right moment. For example, a dating app can ask to review an app after a user has experienced several matches. We also recommend that you check the reviews of your competitors. The negative ones will be especially helpful because they can give you insights. Last but not least, three life hacks. Life hack number one, visual analysis of competitors' apps. We recommend that you monitor the competitor app home pages for updates on a regular basis. This way, you will see what promotion strategy they follow, how often they change their graphics, whether they adapt it for seasonal events and promo campaigns, Christmas, Valentine's Day, Black Friday. For dating apps, it's crucial to culturalize screenshots for the target regions. Most dating apps use images of real people, both women and men. For a particular country, it's better to use the image of those people who would be associated with the user according to the country, in other words, associated with the appropriate ethnic group. The same applies to names, perhaps familiar places in the photos, and other local elements. This section will also help you in building hypotheses for optimizing your own graphic elements to increase their conversion rate. Life hack number two. Know your main competitors by sight. Based on the similarity of semantics, our platform offers you a list of major competitors. You can also add some apps yourself. The chart on the right will show you with which app from the list of competitors you have the largest number of keyword intersections. Hover over a diagram segment and a pop-up window with an overview will appear. This is very important data, and you can study these data for each competitor in detail. By how many words your competitors are indexed, how much higher this number is, in which countries their results are better. And most importantly, you can study the data for each overlapping keyword. Life hack number three. Outrank your competitors with in-apps on the App Store. If you have an iOS app with in-app purchases, iApps, you can follow this tip. You can promote up to 20 IAP on the App Store. Keywords from the IAP titles are also indexed. It means that with ASO, your IAP can also rank well in the search results, outranking your competitors. The most ambitious goal is to take several high positions one after another, so that an IAP follows an app or vice versa. 
you can monitor the effectiveness of IAP promotion with the in-app's purchases tool. Summary. So, we've introduced you to the basic principles of dating app promotion and universal life hacks. We hope you found it useful. You can run the promotion yourself, and we will help you with the most accurate and up-to-date analytics. Register at chicasso.io and start your free 7-day trial. No card required. You can also use our consulting services. Then we will help you to promote your app. And we are always happy to see you at the demo, or we can show you exactly how the platform functions on the example of your app.